Fetchy back at you with another video, and today we're going to look at eight games that you should be playing during the holiday season. Now, these games are Christmas-themed. Uh, well, I would say they have some games are Christmas-themed, and some have Christmas elements in them. Uh, maybe you have a Christmas level uh, based around Christmas. Cool stuff like that. A lot of people may not know about these games. Some of you may know about these games, so let's get into it and take a look. So we're going to start this list off with Death Smiles Part 2. This is a Christmas-based shoot-em-up where the first one was kind of based, well, was based on Halloween. This one's based all about Christmas. And it has a cool story to it, but I don't have any idea what it is. All I can tell is by the pictures, something bad it went down. And that Santa Claus guy looks insane. That is a horrifying-looking Santa Claus. And uh, it, it kind of takes me back to, like, stories I used to hear back in the day. Like, I always somewhat picture Santa Claus looking like that. But anyways, going back to the gameplay, uh, you can choose between five characters, uh, all with different cool moves that you can use. They're all universal. And when I say universal, most shoot-em-up games have the same basis. You know, you shoot, you get points, you try to beat the level, or you fight a boss at the end of the level. There's a lot of cool remixes of Christmas themes in this game, and you know, kind of really puts you in the in the Christmas mood. Uh, I hadn't played this game in, in years, and I just remember I had it in this video. That's what you get with digital downloads. You forget that you have them because they don't really have a physical, they're, they're not physical. But anyways, uh, very cool game, lots of Christmas themes, very fun. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as good as the first game, but definitely it's more of like a, a kind of like a spin-off cool like storyline. E even if you like storylines in these type of games, but anyways, this is definitely one of the, the shoot 'em up games that got me back in the genre. Uh, here's one of the bosses. Now this is the reindeer boss. Now this goes back to those evil like stories I used to hear back in the day. That's probably what a, a reindeer really looks like, all demonic like that. But anyways, uh, still not too demonic looking where it looks too terrifying. But that just that the green eye glowing just uh, just kind of gives me chills. But Death Smiles Part Two definitely a cool game to play during the holiday season. Downloaded on Xbox Live. Now, here's a game that doesn't need any introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway. Batman Returns, awesome game. This is a beat-em-up game, and it actually has a driving level on it, too, which is cool. It's only one, but it's, it's it, I don't remember how I played it. It's been a while since I played it, but uh, I remember playing this game for the first time, and I was like, man, it was around Christmas time when I played it, and I just remember how cool that was, you know? Like, it's just, man, this Batman is walking around beating people up. It was pretty insane. But uh, one of my favorite parts of the beat-em-up level is throwing those guys into the glass. Oh, man, that was such a great feeling doing that. It just shows you that Batman was doing work. But uh, awesome beat-em-up. Uh, it changes things up. It doesn't get monotonous. So uh, it changes some levels change up to, like, throwing the battering and doing other stuff. So very cool game. Definitely check out Batman Returns if you haven't played it. This game is pretty cheap, and a lot of people don't really talk about it. I chose Die Hard Trilogy because of uh, the first two movies. I, I love the Die Hard movies. Like, every, every one except the fifth one. Ugh. Anyways, uh, the first two movies were on Christmas Eve. And uh, I, I believe the second movie takes place after the two years after the first one. And um, I don't know. Just I know that there's not probably any Christmas trees in this game that I remember. But, you know, are stuff that remind me of Christmas. But, you know, it's just... It reminded me of the movies, and the movies were all about Christmas. So, you know, that's why I really enjoy playing this game, these games during this time of year. Uh, very fun games to get into. I mean, they're not too they're not too difficult. They're just a little more like arcadey type, get in, get out if you want. Very funny. This game right here is funny because of the dialogue. And the second game is uh, is more of a, it's a rail shooter, actually. And uh, what's funny about this, uh, me and my buddy Joe were trying to play this game, and we were using the gun con, and we were wondering why it didn't work when this game says it could use, like, a... Uh, you can use a handheld gun to play it, and we found out that we had to use the, the Konami Justifier to play this game, the world to use the gun. And uh, I, I'm not using it here, but I'm using the control pad. But it's funny because you can shoot the hostages, our people, just random people in the street, and you still get points. You don't get like a penalty for it, so it's pretty hilarious. But <laughs> this game doesn't take itself too seriously, which I like. You know, it's, it's just meant to be fun. And uh, you just gain points and you destroy enemies and you try to survive. Uh, I love rail shooters and uh, 
this one's not the best, but it's definitely it's definitely funny because, like I said, it doesn't take itself too seriously. You don't get penalized too much from what I've seen. It's just, it just seems like a lot of fun. I honestly think that this is, like, one of the better games out of this trilogy. Uh, I don't know. I, I do like the, the third game, the driving, but this one, just I don't know, man. There's something about it. Dynamite Decca. Uh, now, this is the uh, remaster of the game for the PS2, import only. And it comes with the Sega Saturn version of Die Hard Arcade, which is what this game is called in America. And it also comes with the remastered version with updated graphics, which is really nice. Now, I don't have to tell you, this, this game is, is definitely based off the first movie. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But I want to tell you, the reason I have this version is because uh, years ago I sold my Saturn uh collection and uh, i hated giving it up because i love this game and you know but when i found out this game was released on ps2 i was ecstatic you know this is a game you definitely want to have in your collection it's funny it's fun to get into it's not too long it has silly moves all kind of crazy explosions it's just it's just this is what arcade fun is all about and uh this is one of the first games that kind of implemented in like quick time events you know but what's funny about this game is that i can't read the japanese so it's a it's random you know, gamble pretty much if I if I hit or miss so I like that I like that element of it too the game has a silly story about you know of course you 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 got to rescue the president's daughter I can't remember if it's the president of the United States or the president of the company but she's hiding out and uh you got to save her and uh that's the basic story of this game you know you're fighting all these thugs in this building first year to start at the top of the building then you go all the way to the parking garage and beat up guys you know uh it's just you're all over the place you never know where you're gonna end up in this game and that's the beauty of it this is a this is the type of beat em up that is at its finest you know what i mean like uh it's just it doesn't take itself too seriously it doesn't it's not like it doesn't get too boring or anything like that it keeps things fresh and that's what i love about it they need to bring this game back more mainstream like even if, if they bring it out as a download with co-op play online you know this game would be a definite game that people would want to buy uh, uh i played it two players uh years ago with a friend and we had a blast playing it and you know there's a it's funny too because the game only gives you a certain amount of credits uh before you play it but uh if you play another game about like a little mini game i think it was called periscope or something like that i can't remember the name exactly but if you get points on that and, and blow up all these ships, it will give you credits. So you can really earn your credits before you start the game and just really have enough credits to enjoy the whole thing. And it, it wouldn't make it too easy. It would make you have to work for it, which is kind of cool. So, uh, I mean, not the free play wouldn't hurt it, but, you know, still, if you want to earn your keep, then that's how you would do it. So just in case you guys need to know again, I chose this game because it reminds me of the Die Hard um, original movie, which was based off Christmas. And uh, I just feel the Christmas spirit when I'm beating these guys up. <laughs> so uh, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you like this game. Uh, definitely pick it up if you can. So Bully made this list because uh, uh, if I remember correctly, the third chapter is the holiday chapter and that's where Christmas starts. And uh, Really cool because the whole overface of the game changes. You know, it's snowing, Christmas lights, Christmas trees, uh, snowmen out, um, everybody's outfit changes. Uh, very cool chapter in the game. I think it's the, one of the more, more unique chapters that this game has. Uh, you have to be careful in this chapter if you're going to be like uh, riding a bike or a skateboard because the ground is slippery and you go, your character will like hurt himself. So you have to be careful of that. It gets dark earlier too. So just remember that. But what I really enjoyed about this chapter is like not only does the school like like changes its setting, the whole city does. So if you go out into the city, you'll see Christmas lights, people, and Christmas decorations. Um, it just reminds me one like why I like Rockstar so much, man. They really pay attention to detail. Uh, hopefully, uh, more people find out about Bully. Very underrated game by Rockstar. Uh, everybody called it Grand Theft Auto for kids back in the day. But uh, it, it, it's it's a, it's more than that. So just to let you guys know. And it wouldn't be some kind of list without a survival horror game. And I'm calling this Raw Danger a survival horror game because it is all about survival. And you have to deal with the horrors of flooding. And uh, this is all during Christmas time. 
it's insane man this game takes place over a couple days you get to play it i believe it's through five or six characters depending on how you play through the game uh the game has multiple endings but very very underrated game i mean golly the game is all about christmas but you're trying to escape this flooding island i like to call it the disappearing island but uh very insane and it has the what i would call the zap effect uh, which is if you do something in one character's game it could affect another character's game so uh very cool game if you haven't played raw danger uh, a lot of fun uh what's cool about it, this game too is that you can also uh talk to certain characters and depending on how you talk to them uh it, it shows if they'll like you or not you know that could change certain dialogue in the game uh it's not too it's i wouldn't say it, it would change anything significant but it's just it could be funny or just whatever the game's insane because it, it seems like there's no rest i mean not only are you dealing with flooding but earthquakes are happening buildings are collapsing it's just uh, it's it's very very tense and just when you think you're about to escape you know something happens you know a uh, very insane game it keeps you on your toes it's a lot of fun and i'm very surprised that a lot of people don't know about this game i've been trying to get the word out for years but it seems like uh a lot of people haven't caught on but here's one of my favorite scenes where you get to choose some dialogue this is your boss you could choose to help him or do this Chef! Chef! I'm sorry that I got you into this mess. You'd better be sorry. Look what you've done to me. I... And you guys knew that Parasite Eve was going to make this list. This game takes place on Christmas Eve in New York. And uh, your character goes to an opera. Uh, people start bursting into flames. It's just really insane. And the game takes place over a six to seven day period, if I remember right. I remember back in the day when I got this game, I was pissed because the game got delayed. It was actually supposed to come out before Christmas of 99 or 98. And, uh, 98. And uh, it got delayed until January. So I had to play it around that time. Uh, but it, really, it would have been great to play it during the Christmas season, being a game based off Christmas. But still, I still got that good feeling when I first played this game. Very enjoyable game. Uh, it's a, more of, I would say, it's a... It's a mix between action RPG and a tactical RPG in a way, uh, because you can go around to certain areas and shoot enemies. But uh, very outstanding game, and like I said, the whole city is all about Christmas uh, and dealing with a, a freaking disaster, of course. It's funny going back to my save spots in this game and playing certain scenes, you know. My character was actually overpowered uh, because I used to like trying to level up a lot just to make sure I was ahead of the game, so I didn't struggle on any bosses. But it's really nostalgic just to come back and play this type of game, especially this time of year, you know. Parasite Eve, if I remember right, it's not that long of a game, uh, but uh, definitely something I could probably beat in a couple days. I'll probably do that again soon, before Christmas, because, you know, of course I wouldn't have that Christmas feeling, but this game is, has some brutal scenes in it. I mean, a horse on fire? Ugh. City is covered with Christmas decorations. And people are looking for presents for their loved ones. Among them are Elliot and Clarice. They all look rushed. That gentleman, that lady, that old man. Why do they have to walk that fast? In the crowd, they feel something important is missing. The streets look so beautiful. This is the most cheerful time of the year. But it seems like nobody is paying any attention to something important. Walking down the street, they find themselves in the middle of Twin Seed City facing the mammoth Twin Seeds Tower. It is decorated beautifully 
and the tower appears as one huge Christmas tree. However, they realize what is missing from the Christmas spirit. The one thing nobody seems to notice. There is no shiny star atop the gigantic Christmas tree. Without it, the tree is incomplete. And now we have Christmas Nights in the Dreams. Uh, what's cool about this game is that this is the first game I remember that was based on Christmas. And I fell in love immediately. I mean, golly. I mean, I just, I just, I just, I was in like in an amazement when I first found out about this game, you know, with the whole trick with the timer, how you could change the timer on the Saturn. And this game would play like certain different versions of it. Like if you played on April Fools, it would play this other mini game that was weird called Relia Knights. I remember he's like the enemy of Knights. And if you played on Halloween, uh, it was snow candy and have like Halloween pumpkins in the background. If I remember correctly, but anyways, uh, basically in Christmas nights, it was semi sequel to nights in the dreams. You're trying to get back a star, save a star. And you just go through the levels and then there's two levels and, uh, and you need to beat the same boss over again, but you just need to do it with both characters before you, you get the ending. Uh, what I always liked about this game is that if you have a if you get a higher a high grade, you can open Christmas presents, and that would consist of like uh, art, um, music, certain movies. You can even unlock Sonic the Hedgehog in the Saturn version of this game, and that was kind of like a precursor to the Sonic Extreme, but even though that was never released. But overall, you can actually see that, you know, this game is like fully based on Christmas and it's definitely one of those games you'll be like, you'll wow yourself, especially during the holidays. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this part of the video. I got my star. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I picked these games because they give me that just that special feeling every time I play them around this time of year. Uh, I might not have gotten some of the games out there that people thought I was going to recommend. I haven't played like too many other games that I can remember Christmas being in uh, well, that are good. But uh, these are my choices of games to play during the holiday season. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, uh, 2017 has been a great year for the channel. Uh, I plan on 2018 is doing just as well. And um, I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody. And happy holidays. I'm just going to leave you with one more message and I will see you next time. Give a star of happiness to the heart of these brave children. Give a star of happiness to the heart of everyone. Merry Christmas. we